Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Good evening. You're watching Oman News. First, the headlines. More than 60,000 male and female students perform general education diploma examinations in various governorates of the Sultans. Oman Development Bank finances around 300 loan applications through Raft Fund during first quarter of the year. Two wildlife observers are honored for their efforts in facing violations in nature sanctuaries. And uh, development and services projects are discussed by Municipal Council in the Governorate of Dakhliya. Those are the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos sent cable of greetings to His Excellency President Salvador Sanchez Serran of El Salvador on his integration as new president for the Republic. More than 60,000 male and female students perform their first day of general education diploma examinations for the second academic year in different governorates of the Sultanate. The examinations, which are distributed on 802 centers, last until the 19th of this month to receive the students. The Minister of Education prepared the examination halls and four other centers for correction processes on the level of the Sultan. Arabic language was the first subject of the first day of the examinations, the questions of which varied in terms of the difficulty and simplicity. Students have stressed that the family const constitutes a vital element of their success through providing an appropriate atmosphere for studying and suitable healthy meals, as well as advice and support. A press conference was held in Muscat on the signing of a memorandum of understandings between Oman Development Bank and Al Raft Fund. More details in the following report by Sayyida Nayab. The total amount of money provided by Oman Development Bank to Al Raft Fund is to finance loan requests and applications submitted to the fund in the first five months of the current year, amounted to 5.4 million Omani Rial. Based on the data revealed at the conference, Muscat Governorate ranked in first position in terms of its share of the total worth of loan applications submitted to Rafat and financed by OBD by 48%, followed by Al Batina North 12%, Al Dakhliya and Al Dahira 9% for each, Dofar 7%, Al Sharkiya South 6%, Al Batina South and Al Sharkiya North 4% for each, and Al Burimi 1%. We are, our role is start. From that, we are receiving the approval from uh, Raft uh, uh, Management, and then we'll start just to uh, fulfill the, all the conditions which is being received from from the from the Raft. By the time we, it is uh, uh, completed, all the uh, conditions and uh, all the documents, then we'll start just to disperse the amounts directly to the to the suppliers. Oman Development Bank takes the role of providing finance to the loan applications submitted by the citizens to the fund following payback and taking all legal procedures. ODB and Refit have signed a Memorandum of Understanding to regulate the loan applications submitted to the fund. This initiative will be a positive growth in the future of the local entrepreneurs in the Sultanate. Saida Nayab, Muscat. His Excellency Said Khalid bin Hilal al Busaidi, Minister of Diwan of the Royal Court, honored the wildlife observers Ali bin Barak al Ghadani from Rasa Shajar Sanctuary and Saeed bin Nasr al Hasusi from a serene nature sanctuary. This honoring came to praise the efforts exerted by wildlife observers as they performed their tasks properly despite the difficulties of climbing mountains and crossing wadis. They monitor the areas during the day and night to prevent any violations from hunters in order to secure the surrounding areas. His Excellency Said Khalid bin Hilal al Busaidi, Minister of the One of the Royal Court, received in his office His Excellency Ardian Mukash, Ambassador of Kazakhstan, accredited to the Sultanate. During the meeting, they reviewed means of enhancing bilateral relations between the two countries in various spheres. 
His Excellency Khalid bin Hilal al Musaidi, Minister of the One of the Royal Court, reviewed bilateral relations between the Sultan and Pakistan with His Excellency Ayaz Hussein, Ambassador of Pakistan, accredited to the Sultan. During the meeting, they discussed aspects of various cooperation between the two countries. Available investment opportunities at agriculture and animal wealth sector in the Sultan were within the official discussion session between the Sultan and Ireland. The Omani side was headed by His Excellency Dr. Fuad bin Jafar Asajwani, Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth, and Irish side was headed by His Excellency Joe Costello, Minister of State for Trade and Development at the Foreign Ministry, who is currently visiting the Sultan. During the discussions, they reviewed aspects of cooperation between the Sultan and Republic of Ireland in the sectors of agriculture, animal and fisheries wealth on their various fields, in addition to cooperation opportunities in the fields of exchanging expertise between the two countries, besides implementing researches and scientific studies at both agriculture and fisheries sectors. His Excellency Said Badr bin Hamad bin Hamoud al Busaidi, Secretary General of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, received in his office His Excellency Joe Costello, Minister of State for Trade and Development at the Foreign Ministry of Ireland. During the meeting, they reviewed existing relations between the two countries and ways of enhancing them in different fields. They also exchanged points of view on a number of regional issues of mutual concern. Still to come in our news bulletin, First Heritage Forum is held in the Wilayat of Avery with the participation of a large number of citizens. من الازدحام في مكتبك باستخدام ورق دبل اي دبل اي ورق بجودة مضاعفة ورق دبل اي سرعة وسلاسة Welcome back to the news from the Sultan of Oman Television. Within the context to develop and upgrade services facilities provided by Royal Oman Police in the Governorates of North Al-Batna, His Excellency Lieutenant General Hassan bin Mohsin al Inspector General of Police and Customs, signed five agreements to establish two complexes for special tasks in the wilayas of Liwa and Suwaiq, and established police stations in the wilayas of Khabura, Soham and Liwa. The agreement aimed to provide better services for the working people in these institution and the citizens. A ceremony was held in the Governorate of Muscat to honor a group of poets participating in the sixth edition of the poetry competition known as Shar al Million under the auspices of His Highness Said Fahar bin Fatik al Said. Five Omani poets expressed their love and respect for the country. The event witnessed participation from members of the society and those interested in poetry. The Municipal Council in the Government of Dakhliya discussed in the sixth meeting a number of topics related to development and service projects which are needed by the Wilaya of the Governorate. The Council, which was headed by His Excellency Dr. Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Saadi, Governor of Dakhliya, also discussed the suggested recommendations to raise them to the bodies concerned. The council sought to review the new topics and the replies by the governorate authorities on the topics which raised before. 
The most significant topics in the meeting were moving the industry institutions from the residential areas to the industrial one, as well as building roads. Means of social media, mainly Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp and Facebook, have imposed many challenges for families in terms of diminishing social communication among people of the same family. Interaction with those means have remarkably replaced direct dialogue between people and a lot of family gatherings lost its glamour. Moreover, research studies that have been applied on students and employees in the Sultanate indicated that such means have a negative impact in terms of religious and cultural aspects and values that require necessary awareness among the youth towards it. First Heritage Forum was held in the Wilayat of Ebri in the Governorate of Al Zahira with participation of a large number of citizens. The forum, which was organized by Ebri Technical College, included various handicrafts exhibition that gave the visitors an opportunity to get acquainted with Omani traditional handmade crafts. The exhibition contained handcrafts, pottery and silver, as well as a station for Bedouin life. تخلص من الازدحام في مكتبك باستخدام ورق دبل اي دبل اي ورق بجودة مضاعفة ورق دبل اي سرعة وسلاسة تخلص من الازدحام في مكتبك باستخدام ورق دبل اي دبل اي ورق بجودة مضاعفة ورق دبل اي سرعة وسلاسة Now for the general weather forecast, clear to the cloudy skies will prevail over the Sultanate. Winds along the areas of Aluking Sea of Oman will be northeasterly light to moderate, while along the rest of the Sultanate will be southerly to southeasterly light to moderate. Seas along the southeastern coast will be rough with a maximum wave height of 3 meters, while it will be slight to moderate along the rest of the Sultanate coast with a maximum wave height of 1.5 meters. This is the Sultan of Oman Television before we enter tonight's bulletin near the main points once again. 
More than 60,000 male and female students perform general education diploma examinations in various governorates of the Sultans. Omani Development Bank finances around 300 loan applications through Ruft Fund during first quarter of the year. Two wildlife observers are honored for their efforts in facing violations in nature sanctuaries. And development and services projects are discussed by a municipal council in the governorate of Dakhalia. And with that, we come to the end of tonight's News Bolton. From all of us here in the studios and the newsroom, thanks for your company. Good night.